Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Charmed, and this is page one. Page one of Charmed. Okay, pretty simple page. We've got two flaps. They're four and a half by eight. Four and a half by eight. We're going to add these two one-inch strips to the left and right-hand side, and then we're going to install our flaps. <clears throat> and they'll be slightly inset. Okay, so we've got our two sides in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull together what this is gonna look like. So the backdrop is gonna be this black. <clears throat> so that'll be between the two flaps. And we're gonna have a left and right flap, like so. And then on top of that, we're going to add this element. It's going to have a magnet on one side, be glued to the other. And I've double matted it. So we've got the orange, then the purple, and there's two uh, three by <clears throat> three by four photo mats. And then we're gonna add this cute little piece of chipboard right here. So that's what it's gonna look like. So what I'm trying to decide right now is how far in, how much of this black I want exposed <clears throat> so that I can set my, <clears throat> the distance from the edge for the flap. So I need my ruler, but it's looking like Yeah, I'm gonna come in three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. And that way I've got uh, a little reference point on both sides. So the edge, the scored edge is gonna go right there at three quarters of an inch from the edge, okay? So let's go ahead and add that. So it is gonna overlap with our strip which I do deliberately, because I don't want um, there to be interference between the hinge and the edge of a piece of paper. It could cause it to buckle over time. Okay, there's one. <clears throat> Okay, at the moment, there is no direction uh, because the green, you know, could go either way, right? So I'm gonna verify yeah, that that's right side up and it is. So we can go ahead and lay these in. We're gonna add a magnet. Actually, let's do the inside first. So this is the flip side of this. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. And this is from the patterns and solids. And I think I, ooh, yeah, I do need to trim these down a little bit. Um, these are, had been rough cut to four inches and set aside so I wouldn't repurpose them. Um, I hadn't trimmed them down to, to fit on a four inch panel. So now we're set. Go ahead and glue these in. <coughs> Pardon me. The big pumpkins are gonna go on the A side and then the flip is gonna go on the B side.
gonna be another warm day here in San Diego, which is okay, I don't mind it, but I, I have noticed that my glue is drying really fast. And when it starts to get warm like this, I have to really pay attention and get the cap back on my glue. to fit. The magnets are going to go on the top panel and the card that lays on top of it. Okay. I wasn't able to trim this down because I had to figure out where I was going to put my flaps first. Okay, let's do a quick test. Dry fit. Still too tight. I want to make sure I am completely out of the hinge area. Looks good. Put it inked and laid in. So you'll notice um, as you go through the album that four of the pages are um, designed so that you can have larger format or photo arrays. And um, four of the pages are designed to have, you know, smaller cropped photos, three by fives, three by threes, and that kind of thing. So I kind of split the album, um, split the pages between larger photos and smaller photos. So you can do both, which is nice in the eight by 10. Um, it's really easy to accommodate that. When you get into the smaller albums, it's a little harder, I think. So for example, even on this page, if you want, you could put a five by seven here. <clears throat> or a series of photos. This is perfect for pumpkin patch, I think. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so this, we can put in half of this. <clears throat> Let's see, make sure they're going together. That's not how they go together. I think I mixed up my patterns. No, I didn't, good. Okay, so if you see, this is just split in half. And again, this is from the eight by eight collection pack. And it needs to be trimmed down. I do both. edges I just trimmed. I'm having coffee this morning and um, I've got this wonderful coffee machine my husband bought me for Christmas. It's very fancy and it has two um, cylinders, one for decaf and one for regular and it grinds the beans and makes your coffee. It's pretty cool. Um, at any rate, the reason I'm going through all this is I think somehow I got regular beans in the decaf because I thought I made myself a decaf cup of coffee, but it doesn't feel like it. I feel pretty zipped up. So if I'm talking fast or if you see my hands tremoring, it's because of that. I have, the older I get, the lower my tolerance is for caffeine. <clears throat> but I still want to drink it. I still, it reminds me of growing up, the smell of coffee in the morning. Because um, my parents always drink coffee and it just reminds me of home. So I'll always have coffee in the house, even if, even if I'm not drinking it. I just want to smell it. Nothing like the smell of a coffee shop. Mm. Okay, now um, this is five by seven and we're gonna mat this and then we're gonna add it here, put a magnet behind this and a magnet here. So let's go ahead and mat this first. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, I'm excited, you guys. Tomorrow I'm going to a craft retreat. Yay! Right here. It's a little north of where my house is, so I'm looking forward to spending some time with uh, my tribe. And this, I'm not teaching or anything. I'm just going to be around other creatives. I think it's so important. Um, you know, coming off the pandemic, I, I'm, I really miss being around people. And especially people you have something in common with. Okay, we're going to need to cover this backside too. Um, let's go ahead and do that before we lay it in because I want it to go... Um, all the way behind this. So let's see what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a four. Let's do a four and a quarter by five. We want it to match this, four and a quarter by five. <clears throat> so this is the side I need to cover. Is that gonna be big enough? Wow, it's right there. Right there. Let's see. I think it's gonna work. It's tight, but I'm going to make it work. Okay, let's see. It's going to be like this. Do I want this? This for sure. So you could even get a three by four photo on this. The part that's gonna stand out. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. I wasn't supposed to do that. I need a magnet in here. Yikes. Let's see if we can lift it. That's why I don't usually do this. It looks so much nicer if you can get it down ahead of time. But like I said, I need a magnet in here. It's a good thing it's still early enough that my glue's not drying super fast. I can always recut the black. I just, I wanna try to salvage my green piece. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on. We're going to add our magnet. Then I'll add this, but I'm going to leave like a little gap here where the glue is going to go so that I can slide this slightly behind it and then run a bead once I get everything in place. And I'm just eyeballing it for the moment. Sorry about that, guys. You know me. I leave all my mistakes in. That's kind of my trademark because I want you guys to know everybody makes mistakes and there's always a way to work around it. And most of the time, you can do it without having to uh, toss your paper. If you don't have a paint spatula, by all means, go get one. These things are wonderful. I have plastic ones, but they're not thin enough <clears throat> to get the paper out without damaging it. That looks pretty straight to me. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna add some magnets now.
We're almost there. Okay. Now we can add this as well. So, <clears throat> one of our uh, viewers who happens to live very close to us um, recently uh, came over and shared a, an album that she had done using our tutorials and added her pictures. And once she added her pictures, she was having some issues with, with magnets. So I started thinking about that. <clears throat> I haven't seen it. Uh, since she put it in the, I saw it when it was loose pages, but I haven't seen it since she put it in the album. So I started thinking about that. I'd love to hear um, if you guys are having any issues. So basically I think her issue is that it got so bulky that the magnets are no longer aligned the way they were before, just because, you know, the amount of photos that made it rise and now they're slightly offset. So I'd like to know if other people are having that issue and I want to figure out a way to solve it for you. Um, so I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know um, if you're having any issues. I, one of the ways to solve it um, is it would definitely work, but the problem is you have to know where your photos are gonna go. And um, one of the ways to make that work is rather than place your magnet and then your paper and then your photo, you place everything you add your magnet on top of your designer paper and then you put your photo on top of that. So then there's only one layer between the magnets, um, either a layer of paper or a photo. But like I said, the problem with that is you have to know where your photos are going. So I'm gonna continue to think about that and try to come up with some solutions that will help. Um, another way that get, goes around it completely is to not use magnets and use ties because they can expand and contract based on the volume. Um, I am not a big fan of them. I think they're bulky and I think they also limit where you can put photos. The same thing goes for swing, uh, swing tabs. Um, they work and it'll allow you to expand and contract, but again, you still have to know where your photos are gonna go to place your swing tabs so that they're not gonna chafe against any photos. So if you're gonna, if you know where your photos are gonna go, I'd, I'd go with the first method and you know, put it on top of the designer paper and underneath a photo rather than a swing tab. I think swing tabs are fun, but I think they can cause a lot of it, different issues. Limit where you can pl put a photo. You can place a photo over a magnet. You can't over a swing tab. So it's going to create some limitations. So say, for example, you needed a swing tab here. It wouldn't be so bad. But if you were trying to place a swing tab here, you're going to have you know, something bulky right in the middle of your your large format. So, okay, I think I've got this in. I'm gonna um, burnish it a little bit, but please, please do send me that uh, feedback because um, I really want to solve that problem, not just for her, but for anybody else that's having it because um, I know a lot of work, go, work and love goes into these projects and then to have something like that uh, be an issue, I'm sure is very disheartening. Okay, so there we go. And the last thing is this double mat. Um, this is six, six and one eighth by four and one eighth. Six and one eighth by four and one eighth, sitting on top of a five by seven. And that's just for two photos here. and he's getting ready to get on another Zoom call. <clears throat> so you may hear that in the background. I think he turns it up because it's hard to pay attention. Okay, there we go. There is page one. Lovely. Okay, I'll be back soon and we'll continue working on this album. We're, we're, we're coming on the finish line. I'll see you guys soon.